Today we're speaking to Prof. Yonita Mayer from Theology. Hi, Prof. and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tell us all, how did you become a researcher? I don't think uh, anyone, you know, goes to university thinking that I will one day be a researcher. So I just basically fell into it, I think. Um, I started my studies and decided I'm going to continue with postgraduate studies. Uh, both in theology and psychology, and when I finished my PhD, I thought, yeah, I think I like this, I like doing this. So I decided to do a post-doctoral uh, fellowship, uh, first with the University of Pretoria and then with the University of South Africa, and I applied for a post year at this university, and yes, this and here you are. Yes, the rest is history. And what are you currently working on? What research? I've got two focuses at the moment. Um, the first one is a correlation between masculinity and spirituality or religiosity, where I want to see if there's a correlation between uh, the type of uh, men and women we have in South Africa and what is preached on, uh, on the pulpit, okay. um, hopefully with the aim of improving relationships between men and women, and the church can also play a viable role in that. And then secondly, um, I'm focusing on a pastoral theology specifically for South African people uh, because we have a specific con uh, context and um, I think uh, that we can create something unique for our people. Oh, lovely. Have you managed to identify any gaps in your field? I think one of the biggest gaps is contextuality. So again, in religion and spirituality, there's not a lot of gender studies. Um, I think there's feminist studies, but uh, nobody really focuses on men and masculinity and, and the role of religion in telling people how to be a man and how to be a woman. Yeah. Um, and then again with pastoral theology, there is very limited research on, on what would be a good fit for, for South Africans. Okay. And what would you like to get aspiring researchers out there to know what words of wisdom have you got to share with them? You know what, I thought about this and I think that uh, firstly, I think you need to be passionate. So uh, you have to ask yourself, is this what I like to do and want to do for the rest of my life and then it won't be effort for me. I find a lot of people don't really like writing or researching researching, and, and then it becomes work. So. Um, it must be your passion and focus on those things that make you feel passionate and make you excited. Don't be driven by funding and donors. Uh, be driven by yourself and your passion. Definitely. Yes. Prof, one last question. What are your hobbies? What do you do to rest and relax? <laughs> I think, uh, well, I love reading, so um, in December times when it's a long holidays, I like to read some um, non-fiction, okay. uh, well, fiction, but um, I also like arts and crafts, so oh, I lovely. like to move away from the academics and just focus on things I can do with my hands. Prof, thank you so much for your time, we appreciate you coming to see yeah. us, and we wish you the best going forward. Thank you, thank, thank you for you. having me. Thank you.